Hey guys, it's Chad Agrawal. I'm the owner of Perfect Clicks LLC. Today we're going to be talking about how you can optimize your website using either Elementor, Astra, or basically any of the main themes like Hello Theme and optimize it with WP Rocket. The issue is we've got a 98 core vital score, but it, reduce, it adds a lot of code onto that page, so your text to HTML ratio actually drops significantly. So your code on WP Rocket actually went from a text to HTML ratio of 30% went all the way down to 3%. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, this is really important because it does impact SEO, right? And SEO is becoming more technical. So what is we did over 97 different tests basically, and uh, I'll walk you through some of it and showed you how we pretty much figured out the best setting. So we did talk to WP Rocket support about this. They did say this is something we could do. We actually tested through all of the settings. So hopefully we'll save you some time. If you're a developer, that's great. If you're a website owner, you may wanna reach out to us about how to do this. This stuff will impact your ads, it will impact your SEO, and it'll impact your traffic and your user, your load speed anyway. So um, this is a huge thing for getting indexed, getting ranked, and making the most out of your website. So again, it's info at perfectclicks.com if you need to help. Without further ado, let's jump into a video. I'll show you some of the results and the best settings up front, and then I'll get into some more of the granular detail, other things that you do wanna watch out for, and I'll see you in the video. Let's jump into it. So as you can see here, we had a performance of 98 on Core Vitals. However, what you don't realize is with WP Rocket, code is getting injected into your website. And so uh, that's just the way certain settings at WP Rocket works, and then you wanna test what's best for your website, what are your configurations. Obviously, we're not liable for any changes you make, but definitely take a backup and be careful. So what we found out is with all the settings turned on in WP Rocket and how it works with Elementor, um, there's some overlap, right? And so you don't need everything to optimize that site. And so what we found is that our text to HTML ratio was only 3.6%. Um, it added over 100 or 200,000 characters of HTML, which is a pretty big difference in our minds, uh, especially if you want your site, if it's a new site trying to get indexed or ranked, uh, you probably don't want your text to HTML ratio all the way down at 3%. I could understand 5%, 10%, 15%, 20%, but 3% is, is really low. So what we did was we did different optimizations with Google Tag Manager and uh, basically within WP Rocket. And so those optimizations got us these results where we're able to get to a 90 performance and um, a text to HTML ratio of 14.4%. And we kind of learned quite a bit about how we can maximize and how you build the site. So there's a number of considerations that we'll go through, but we'll go through some of these main settings right now. All right, so here we are in the WP Rocket backend. Um, you have file optimization and you can minify these CSS files. Now that didn't have a huge greedy take on anything. Uh, so you weren't adding a whole lot of characters or HTML into the site, but it does work. Um, the other thing to consider is that Elementor is also having their own CSS optimizations, which we also tested. And it's actually better to keep the Elementor CSS optimizations on and um, keep the minify as CSS files working too. So our, our um, test for that yielded no difference in terms of the number of HTML characters added there. The other thing to know is that some hosting platforms will have CSS minimification uh, features. Now, we also tested at the hosting level, depending on which host. And again, if you're doing all of this work to speed up your website, contact us about the best hosting because we will set you up with some of the best hosting around um, and not, not owned by us, but just from what we've tested, we've tested over a hundred different hosts. And so what you could do here is not use your hosting platforms, minification, uh, and combine the WP Rocket, which is recommended with Elementor to get the best um, performance, at least what we've seen for this build, right? And so the next thing you'll find is that if you optimize the CSS delivery, which is very much recommended to remove unused CSS for core vitals. But you are adding approximately 100,000 characters of code 
of HTML code into your page. And so it changes the, the size of your page uh, significantly. And uh, we found that if you load the CSS asynchronously, it's actually going to be uh, much better. So, uh, you know, from a performance standpoint, that is our trade-off, but you're not adding so much HTML characters into that. We also saw a very little difference on the Minify JavaScript files. Uh, so you're able to minify those JavaScript files. Similarly, your host might have a feature for it. Um, and Elementor doesn't necessarily have a feature for it. So something that is really good for WP Rocket, and we did use that. We did test combining the JavaScript files, and that did add some inline and uh, definitely increase the page size significantly. I don't remember exactly how much it was, I can tell you right now. It actually, uh, it increased it just, just a little bit, maybe about 20,000 or so, or, or 10,000 characters. So uh, depending on your site, it might be a little bit different, maybe worth to try testing yourself there. Um, but we also found that the low JavaScript deferred had a very low impact, uh, wasn't that big of a difference at all. So, um, or it was a very small difference. So we definitely um, left that one checked. And so we're using that as well. But then this delayed JavaScript execution definitely uh, gave us a little bit of an issue, right? Uh, that added a lot of code to the page and we actually chose to leave that off. Also, as you can see here, um, WP Rocket kind of confirmed all of this. We had actually tested it out already, but they, they confirmed that WP Rocket will insert code into the page, especially with the delay JavaScript execution and remove unused CSS. So those are two things that we found uh, to work. And they also did recommend as well to load the, AC, uh, the CSS asynchronously. So that way, you know, um, it wouldn't add too much CSS on the page as well. So this is definitely something that's been confirmed by WP Rocket. I think that right now they're not prioritizing that text to HTML ratio. I just think you want to have it higher to the point where it's not an issue in terms of where you could be penalized, right? I, and that brings me back to that 3%. So that's definitely something to think about. You also want to look at your optimized uh, performance settings within Elementor. So Elementor has some really great settings. We chose and we tested each one of these. And so we chose to leave a lot of these on, especially the optimized control loading, which is currently in beta. That's an ongoing experiment. Um, the element caching is working and then definitely the improved CSS loading, um, inline fonts, additional custom breakpoints. Um, there was others here. Oh yeah. And lazy load background images. These are all really good settings that we found to be helpful and to boost your core vitals and also not have a huge character impact. And so this is one of the things that will help your Elementor work well with WP Rocket. Um, you could see here, we enabled lazy load for images, which did make a big difference, but we didn't enable it for CSS background images. And uh, we did add missing image dimensions. So those are two minor options that you can add as well. So another thing we decided to do was to change how the Google tags were loading. Now we did test them in a number of different um, places and ways to load them. And what we found is if you can combine your analytics with your Google tag manager, uh, it's just two pieces of code less that are running, two pieces of JavaScript that are running less. And you can have it initialize uh, with Google tag manager and while we haven't found an exact workaround for loading that or delaying that, uh, we just found it to be a necessary evil in this case, uh, but it did make a, a difference and you can load it right through Elementor. So that works pretty well too. Now, I just want to walk you through the number of tests that we did here. So you have the text to HTML ratio starting at a 3.6. You can see here 68,000 characters, 13,000 characters of text. We learned a lot of different ways to optimize the number of characters of text on the page. So those excerpts or how you code your Elementor containers can make a huge difference, right? And the order of elements can make an even bigger difference. So that way you're not delaying that loading of content and getting to that largest contentful paint as soon as possible, right? And so here you can see everything we've done. We tested from anywhere from 15% to 13%. Um, and then all the way up to 20. At, at one point we had it over 30% as well. And so there's a lot of different things that you can do with your text and the amount of content on each page. 
and from a SEO standpoint, it makes sense, right? You would want to have more content on your page. This would make your page higher quality uh, to Google. So you could see here, we've done literally dozens and dozens of tests, testing out the different settings, going through that. And this is just one of the things when you do work with a company like ours, the level of detail that we'll go into to make sure that everything goes right. This is, is it takes years of experience and testing to get to this point as well. Similarly, right here on Page Speed Insights, you'll see the performance down as low as 60. And we did many, many steps to optimize that larger, largest content full paint, as well as reduce the impact of third party code. We actually found other ways to reduce the number of large layout shifts as well. And these are things that really can be controlled within Elementor. Um, we also found that lowering the number of Google fonts or the loading of Google fonts could have a huge impact because it, it reduces your unused CSS and it also can um, reduce the number of things that need to be minified as well. So that's kind of a two for one. If you optimize your fonts, I know that's kind of basic, but for anybody watching, it's a helpful reminder to go through these. So we continue to test both mostly on the mobile level. You want to watch your caching while you're testing. You want to cache at the WP rocket level as well as the server level. So just keep those things in mind. But if you can really lower the amount of items that need to be loaded, lower than and really optimize your images. So here you'll see we were running into something with properly sized images, right? So you want to have really well optimized images and uploaded and tagged as the exact dimensions. That made a huge difference. That helped us get past the 90. You can see we're at 86, getting pretty close. And then we hit the 90 as well. Uh, we probably have a couple other tricks up our sleeve that are coming up that we'll, we'll get it past there. There's some accessibility stuff, but these are the major elements that you should think about when you're using Elementor with WP Rocket. And so you can have a decent text to HTML ratio and use WP Rocket. It depends on what you're trying to prioritize for your website. I got it. It's all there and we won't forget it now. So there you have it guys. Basically you really should use WP Rocket with Elementor if you're trying to optimize for speed. It's one of the best ways currently they're keeping up with all the updates and it really gives you an edge over your competition when your site is loading as fast as possible. It's giving users the best experience and if you notice your mobile rankings and people are on their phones, they're searching, your mobile traffic can significantly increase if you're impacting these kinds of changes. So we're looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Please do like and subscribe. If you need anything, reach out to us, 844-4-CLICKS or info at perfectclicks.com. We offer support packages, marketing packages, development packages, and all that. So see you in the next video. If you need any help, let us know. Please do reach out to us if you need help and leave a like and subscribe. Thank you.